So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and by popular demand we're going to be doing another reaction video. You guys seem to really like my reaction video on MKBHD's iPadOS 15 reaction so I'm going to do another one and somebody commented to react to Knoopsy's most recent iPad Pro day in the life video and I thought that was a great idea. But before we react to it, Knoops, if you're watching, shout out to you man, I've been watching your channel for over two years now at this point. I think I found your channel with that Samsung Dex kind of crazy set of video they did a couple years ago. So big shout out to Knoopsy, huge, huge fan of his. I just wanted to say that if he is watching. And if you guys want to see other reaction videos like this, comment down below what videos I should react to. Let's try to keep it iPad focused kind of thing because let's kind of stay in the same niche as a channel. And also big, big shout out to Tiny Rakes for sponsoring this video, but more on them at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, everybody, so let's jump right into this video. As you can see, the thumbnail god is up to his antics again with this crazy awesome thumbnail with his freaking yellow shoes and new balances, them dad shoes. But let's hop right into it Hi and everyone. see exactly what we got going on. I've been using the new 2021 M1 iPad. And the first thing is his freaking voice. First off, his, his voice just kind of calms you down and just gets you ready for the video, but let's keep going. Pro and iPad OS 15 since the day they dropped. And as a YouTuber, designer, content creator, freelancer, and semi-regular human, the iPad Pro has really been the ultimate tool for me and everything I do. First off, those wallpapers are dope. I've actually purchased a couple of his wallpaper sets. Highly, highly recommend it because it's kind of hard to find good iPad Pro, like minimal, pastel-y kind of wallpapers. So you guys should kind of check it out, knoopsy.media. So this video is a day in the life, more so a busier one, with the M1 iPad Pro and iPad OS 15. Brought to you by Uppercut Deluxe, my go-to brand for all my hair product needs. We all knew that hair slicked up wasn't natural. I mean, I got my own version right here, you know. My hair in tip-top shape all day. To see my full routine, stay When I wake up Ever since the patio started opening again here in Toronto after our six month long lockdown, I've been starting most mornings at coffee sh- God, this man's life is just so aesthetic. I mean, look at all the little things he's thinking about, right? First off, he looks dope with the white magic keyboard, with the white shoes, he's got the, fi the like yellow fire hydrant in the back kind of contrasting with the yellow on his shoes. The man, like, I'll, I'll definitely say that I would have him or his videos and also Byte Reviews videos, his were also sick but I would just literally have them on a loop running on like a canvas, on like a screen canvas. On one of those like, uh, I think Samsung made that wallpaper TV or something. I would literally put his videos just on a loop just because they're so like Got patios pleasing to working the eye. with the iPad. Most mornings, I start by catching up on business emails, replying to clients, scrolling through social apps, as well as any customer support for my website. I didn't buy the cellular iPad, maybe I should have, but I've just been tethering to my phone with 5G. That's one thing. I did say that I was going to get the data version next time I got an iPad Pro because in the 2018 version, I didn't get data and I really wanted data. But then again, COVID hit and then I got the new M1 iPad Pro and I'm around Wi-Fi 95% of the time. And at that 5% where I'm not around Wi-Fi, yeah, I can just tether my phone and get, I don't have the, the 12, I have the 11, so I'll get 4G tethering but or hotspotting. As things start to open up again, I feel like data on the iPad Pro might be more of a need. And I do remember it being something that I really wanted, but then realizing like in this current state, I don't really need it. Work like this is really when iOS 15's new multitasking actually comes in handy. It's just a lot easier to do more than one thing. Even if it's as simple as how- Also, I've wondered- Phone with 5G. Work- I've wondered how he got this Apple Pencil to look like the original Apple Pencil with that little like metallic section right there. Again, I haven't really looked for it too much, but it, I don't know how he did it. It looks exactly like the old fully round Apple Pencil. This is really when iOS 15's new multitask is so much easier in iOS 15. If things come up during work that I want to remember for later or have a quick idea, I've gotten the habit of using quick notes for jotting down quick points as well as dragging over images and links. Now, my home screen, I like to keep it pretty simple. On the main page, I have just a blank screen, and the second page, I have it loaded with information-dense widgets, like... I do kind of like this setup, and I've been kind of thinking about doing this myself, because with iPadOS 14, 
I also kept it blank, but I kept the today view there. And obviously with iPadOS 15, Apple just got rid of the today view altogether, or the today view is there, but you can't kind of pin it to your home screen anymore. You gotta swipe from the left to get it. So I'm kind of annoyed by that because the today view made it seem like I had sort of like a desktop situation, even though it really wasn't. But now that the today view isn't there, it's throwing off kind of what I wanna do with my home screen and I haven't really figured it out yet. One list that combines calendar and reminders, weather, a files widget, and a few other essentials. After finishing my coffee, it was time to head out. I got a. I am curious how often he actually like goes out in the morning to a coffee shop to get work done, as opposed to maybe just like waking up, sitting down, and getting work done. Because that's kind of you know, especially from a work from home situation, I'm gonna get up, make my coffee, and then sit down and do work. But hey, some people do like to go to the coffee shops and do their thing. But I'm curious to know, Knoopsy, if you're listening. Out of 10 times, how many times do you go in the morning to the coffee shop to get work done? Hey though, this white magic keyboard is really not holding up that well. Even though I have a D-brand skin covering up the bottom, all the exposed areas are still getting quite dirty. Today's a pretty busy day, so I hopped on my bike and dashed off. I actually did recently get an electric scooter, which I will make a video on pretty soon, so that's my first like E or electric vehicle period. After walking up my bike, can't be too careful in Toronto, I met up with my friend Liam to check out a new studio location for an upcoming shoot. We're planning out a crazy ultra-minimal gallery TV setup video, and this is the perfect spot. This seems like it's right up the valley. Then we got to planning. Using the iPad, we shot some ultra wide photos of the space and did some rough sketching with the pencil just to map out where things would end up going. Then, using an app called Rumel, we did a rough layout plan just for scale. And we actually used augmented reality for a practical use case, believe it or not. So I guess this is like one of the few use cases where it does make sense, right? If you're planning something out, maybe it does make sense to use the camera on the iPad Pro as your, you know, photo camera to actually take pictures and then kind of draw out exactly where you want things to go. Again, I haven't used the iPad Pro like that. I just, I haven't done it. I haven't, maybe, because we are moving in a month, so maybe then I'll be able to kind of map out the second room and exactly how I want the studio to go. But for right now, like, the back camera on my iPad Pro is used purely for document scanning, and even that has gone down a lot because... It's very rare that I have physical paper nowadays. So the back camera gets like very, very little use for me on the iPad Pro. We placed some AR furniture in the space just to map out how everything would look and how spacing would be once all the furniture is in place. Just a solid way to actually visualize things. While we were working, I had a thumbnail idea for the video you're watching right now, this video. Decided to speed it up so I bit. launched Procreate and drew a simple reference sketch mock-up. I mean, it- How fast do you guys normally listen to videos? And if it's a podcast, is it faster? I usually listen at 1.25, and then if it is a podcast, I listen at 1.5. A terrible drawing, no doubt, but I still find simple mockups like this incredibly helpful when I'm actually shooting. I actually do use the iPad for thumbnail mockups, and I, they look even worse than that. It's literally just like blocks and like like a square shape for the iPad, and like a random like stick figure hand for where my hand's gonna go, and you know words to show you guys where or show myself basically where like the accessories in the in the shot are gonna go, things like that. After some time working, we realized it was lunchtime, and we take food pretty seriously. So we ordered from one of our favorite spots, Lambos. After grabbing our orders, we headed to find a quieter spot to eat and chill. After we demolished those sandwiches, Liam had to bounce, so we said peace, and I headed towards the subway to get back to my bike and get home. This was the first time in almost six months that I've actually been back on the subway, so it was kind of weird. But after sitting, I whipped out the iPad to type a few video scripts and edits, since it's a bit of a long ride. I'm curious, in this situation, did he just kind of put the camera up? Because he doesn't have the other guy filming anymore. So maybe. Again, doing the full Casey nice side here. I also did a bit of work on a wallpaper pack I'm dropping on my website pretty soon, just polishing up some of the colors and shapes in Procreate. You know after a few stops, I realized I don't really have too much at home for dinner. 
So I wrote up a quick grocery list and hopped off the subway to grab a few things. <laughs> Martin's potato bread for the win. The only other bread that I really like, but I wouldn't even use it for sandwiches, is that Hawaiian bread. But, oof, great choice, dude. After grabbing some groceries, I hopped back on the whip and headed home. After a pretty long day out with the iPad, it was time to do some work at home. I tossed on a vinyl and got to work on shooting the thumbnail for this video. Once again, the one you're watching right now. 420 views in one minute. <laughs> this freaking guy, dude. Yeah, Knoopsie, I would love to hang out one day, dude. If you're, I'll be back in the Northeast pretty soon, so I'll be closer to Toronto. Set up the shot and the set, and use the iPad as a viewfinder to frame up the photo. After I was done shooting, I plugged the SD card into the iPad using a card reader and imported those photos into Lightroom for a few quick edits. Then I exported that final image into Affinity Photo for some of the more hardcore edits. My whole thumbnail process is pretty straightforward on the iPad in Affinity Photo, and during editing, this thing didn't even break a sweat with filters and layers, no problems at all. I mean, it is amazing what this iPad can do. Like, people, again, like when iPad OS 15 came out, people hated on it because it didn't get Final Cut Pro and a, like a real version of Photoshop, but like, Canoopsy shows, like, Affinity Photo is Photoshop just on the iPad. Like, LumaFusion, yes, it can't get as far as Final Cut Pro in terms of like plugins and that kind of ecosystem, but LumaFusion for $40 compared to $300 is freaking awesome. So, like, again, I'm sure that he wrote, edit, edits his stuff on his main Mac and he edits it with Final Cut Pro, but. Again, the iPad Pro is pro enough, even right now. Although, was I cool was chance. getting kind of hungry, so I tossed a quick recipe on the iPad and got to cooking. For this cook-up, we're doing some dressed up Beyond Burgers. I'm still yet to try a Beyond Burger. It was a pretty long day, and after dinner, I was exhausted. So I want to take some time to actually relax and chill. I had about 15% battery left on the iPad at around 9 o'clock in the evening. I'll charge it up tomorrow. So I threw in a few shows and watched till I fell asleep. It was definitely a long day, but a solid and productive day. Oh, that freaking yellow. <laughs> when I walk I feel like I'm watching a movie. Like, this is sick. Like, people have asked me to do, you know, my day in the life with the iPad Pro, but like, I'm sitting here for freaking 12 hours a day. If you guys okay, want me so to, like, look at a day in the life with the. If you guys want me to put the camera back here and do that, then okay. But literally, yeah, I do all my stuff on the iPad Pro mostly, but I'm kind of sitting at my desk pretty much the whole time. I'm on iPad Pro and iPad OS 15. And despite this year's iPad not being a huge upgrade and iPad OS 15 not living up to our super high expectations, Honestly, it's been a pretty great experience overall. It Things has. here are more refined, faster, and work is easier and more enjoyable with the latest updates. Over the last few years, the iPad Pro has honestly been my favorite piece of tech that I've used pretty much every single day. And I can't wait to do even more with it this year. <laughs> I actually remember trying to do that. So back when he had like the slim folio and it wasn't the Magic Keyboard, he would do this cool thing where he would like slap the iPad on the actual table or wherever it was and then it would close shut. And I remember trying it on the 12.9 inch iPad and it literally, I almost broke my iPad, which I thought was funny. But overall, absolutely love this episode. I mean, it's like a movie. He's literally made a movie about the iPad Pro, about using the iPad Pro, which is pretty freaking amazing. And again, Knoopsy's one of those guys that I watch, I wanna say like 99% of his videos, and I've been around for about two years, and it's just been awesome to see him grow, see like his aesthetic, he's kind of built his own world, and uh, shout out to Knoopsy, for sure. This is, he's very, very inspiring, and hopefully one day we'll work together on something, we'll see. But let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So Tiny Rigs created the ultimate iPad Pro Magic Keyboard organizing accessory. And basically what that means is the people over at Tiny Rigs thought to themselves, the iPad Pro is the ultimate mobile computer, but they hated kind of lugging around either an organizer with all the peripherals that it needed or maybe needing to carry a backpack with everything. Because again, we're dealing with one USB-C or one Thunderbolt port with the iPad Pro. 
So Instep's Tiny Rigs Ori Grid Organizer. Now this accessory just slaps on the back of your Magic Keyboard. So as long as you have the 11 inch or the 12.9 inch Magic Keyboard, this thing will work perfectly. The installation is very, very simple. All you do is you slide it into the back of the Magic Keyboard. Just like a sock, it has some elastic bands to make sure it stays in place. And then on the back of it, all you have to do is put all of your necessary accessories on the Ori Grid and inside of those pockets that it also has on the bottom third of the organizer. So on here I have SSDs, USB-C hubs, chargers, cables, my AirPods are on here, I even have some chapstick in there. So everything that you would need for an on-the-go iPad Pro mobile computing situation will just be on the back of your iPad and you'll never have to worry about forgetting something ever again. So I think this is a must-have, especially if you have a bunch of iPad Pro accessories. And for the price, it's really hard to beat. They start at like 25 bucks and it's made out of either canvas material or leather. So check them out in the first link in the description below. Shout out to Ori Grid for sponsoring this video. And shout out to you guys, because if you guys didn't have that awesome response when I first showed off the Ori Grid, then who knows if they would have come for a sponsored video. But thank you so much to Ori Grid and thank you to you guys for always watching these videos. First link in the description below. But that's pretty much gonna do for this video. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. If you guys made it to the end, like I said, leave a comment down below. Who do you guys wanna see me react to next? And also might do a nice little live Q&A when we hit 30,000 because I don't know what happened, but you guys got me from 25K to 30K in like a month and a half. So big shout out to everybody. But like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.